I've been getting some requests about retouching inside a Lightroom Classic. So stay with me and I'll show you how to retouch faces inside a Lightroom Classic without opening Photoshop. Hi, I'm Terry Banner, I'm a professional photographer, and today we're gonna to go into a slightly advanced direction in Lightroom Classic, and that is retouching faces. If you're new to Lightroom Classic and would like to get started in it, I would encourage you to go check out my beginner's workshop on Lightroom Classic. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below, but you can always go to my playlist. So go to my channel, look for playlists, and you'll see a playlist for beginner's workshops, and you can go right there, and all those episodes are all stacked up. So retouching faces is usually reserved for Photoshop, but there are times when you wanna do something without going into Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. And if you can stay till the end, I'll show you a very fast way you can do high-end retouching right inside a Lightroom Classic and even batch your files to do several at a time. Let's dive in. All right, we have a few images here inside a Lightroom Classic. So let's go in and go to the develop module. Well, actually, first thing we'll do the same thing we always do, and that's create a virtual copy so we can kind of compare what we're working on. All right, so let's go in to develop. And we're gonna go over to masks. So let's go ahead and click on our mask tool. And what Lightroom does, which is pretty slick, is down here where it says people, it starts using AI and detects there's people. Obviously, there's a person right there. So when we click on it, it then detects all the different parts of what we're looking at. We have facial skin, body skin, eyebrow, all these things are listed here, which is pretty slick. So if we want to go click on lips, for instance, now we've got a mask for the lips. And so we'll say create a mask for the lips. Now we can go in and we can darken that or lighten it. We can add more color to it, make it brighter if we want. We can actually choose a color if we want. We could say, oh, we really want those red and actually choose a color. And depending on how much we slide our opacity slider, we can make that color whatever we want. So that is the first way that we want to do it. So let's do some other work. So let's go ahead and create a new mask and we're going to go select people, come back to her again. We'll click on this and we'll go to facial skin. Now, facial skin, you can see it's all masked out. We'll, we'll zoom back just a bit here. You can see it's all masked out. And so what do we want to do here? Well, we can simply go down and create a mask. And now we've got a mask of just the face skin. And let's go into our effects and take our texture slider and move that to the left a little bit. And that's going to soften the skin going to take away some details, but it's going to soften the skin. So that allows us to do a little bit of work this way. We can also do um, a little bit of removal, right? So let's go in, in here and we'll grab our removal brush and we're going to click here and we'll just remove these bags here. Let's just paint right over this. And we're going to say remove. Lightroom's going to use a little bit of AI to remove that. And you can see what it did there, right? It removed the, let's do a before and after. So it removed that. Now, if it removed it too much, then we can easily take and bring it back by using this opacity slider on our remove. So sometimes if it removes too much, it looks a little fake. So you can remove it just a little bit. Let's go back into our masks and create another mask. And we'll do select people. Click on her again. All right, let's make another mask here where we've selected her. We're going to go down and we'll do the eye whites. And we'll say create a mask. So it's created a mask for the whites and what we want to do, maybe we want to brighten them up a little bit, right? So we'll bring our exposure up just a little bit, maybe our highlights up a little bit, maybe our whites up a little bit. And again, let's take a look at before and after. Brightens up our eyes. Let's do another mask, create another mask up here. 
and we're going to do select people again select her and let's go into hair so if we want to select the hair we can do a couple let's create a mask and it'll select all the hair now what we're going to do is we can change the tones of the hair we can lighten it if we want we can actually add a little sharpness to it by adding a little bit of clarity here's an extreme amount of clarity but you can add a little bit of clarity and get a little more definition out of that and of course if we want to do work on the eyeballs themselves i prefer to use a brush so i'm going to go click a new mask and i'm going to use a brush and then i'm going to go in and I, of course, have my brushes that I sell that are wildlife brushes, but we can still use them here. And so let's go in here and we'll go to our very first one, which is our iris highlight. Let's go ahead and zoom this up so we can get a little closer in. And take our brush. And we'll lighten in around the iris. Then we'll hit the letter K, get a new brush. And we're gonna change this to the next one in order because this is gonna be a little brighter and this is gonna enable us to just do a little bit brighter in this area here. Do a new brush, hit the letter K. Grab our next version. And that's our number three, our iris enhance and then we'll just run right in through here so that looks a little extreme so we're going to move the amount back a little bit okay let's see what we've done go up to 50 percent and you can see what we've done here right this before and after we've fix the eyes and you can go in and, and do whatever it is that you want on an image in retouching. Now that obviously looks pretty intense. So we can just go into any of our masks like this mask here and we can bring the amount down. Let's go to this mask, bring the amount down if we want to bring that down just a little bit. And we'll go to our first mask that we did. This is the eye irises, right? And we can tune that so we can brighten it, but not have it too extreme. So we have the ability to go in and do whatever masks we want on this as just by letting uh, Lightroom Classic create our mask for us. We select people. And when you select people, you can go in and go down the list and find out what it is that you'd like to work on, how you'd like to fix it. Like, like we said earlier, the body skin, we'll create a mask and then we'll take our texture and slide it back and that softens that skin. So you have the ability to create all these different masks inside of Lightroom Classic that will allow you to do this kind of retouching fairly quickly. You also want to remove blemishes. So bl blemish removal is going to be also done similarly as we'll come over here into our removal tool and we might use this tool, which is our, our uh, healing brush. And we might find areas that we want to reduce see how it just automatically takes it out again working on those same things we're able to reduce and pull off some of the the blemishes that come up on a face right so it right here you don't notice them as much but if we come up to say 200 percent then you can start seeing lots of little blemishes that have popped up right and that's where you can actually go in and fix those real simply by going through each one and taking a remove and removing each one as you go. Let's try that again. Probably better if I make a little bit larger brush there. So this will allow you to re remove things fairly quickly and you'll go through and work on the skin to make it sure it looks its best. Now this does take a little bit of time. So, um, there is another way that I'm going to show you how, how I do retouching inside of Lightroom Classic. And if you're ever in a situation where, let's say you do, you've done a portrait session and you've got several images that you want to show the client, but you know maybe the makeup wasn't done great or they've got some blemishes that are standing out and people might fixate on them when they're looking at them. 
you need to fix that before you show the client what those images look like. So the easy way to do that is to use a system that I use here in Lightroom Classic, and I'll show you that next. If you're enjoying this kind of content, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of my next video is released. I read all the comments and respond to all of them, so feel free to leave a question or a suggestion or feedback in the comment section. Now, if you'd like to get a hold of me directly, you can email me, terry at imagelight.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions, add you to my mailing list, and in fact, I get ideas from you guys that way. The idea I had for retouching out of Lightroom Classic came from an email from one of, you, one of my viewers. So, fantastic, and keep those ideas coming because, you know, it turns into something like this where you might learn something that you didn't even realize you needed to know. All right, back into Lightroom Classic. All right, so let's start in here. We're going to right-click and make another virtual copy. This is one we did some retouching on. This is a new one. So check this out. All right, so let's take our image. We're going to right-click, and we're going to edit in. We're not going to go into Photoshop. We're going to go into Reblum. So let's click that, and we'll say Edit. And then Lightroom makes a image that will work inside of Reblum, which is a TIFF image. And what it does is it goes through and does complete retouching on that image. And this is, this is exactly how fast it did it, right? I didn't do anything. I just clicked it and it did the retouching. There's two versions to it. There's fashion and there's natural. So we'll just take a look at fashion for right here. And you have the ability to fine tune this if you'd like. So let's say we'd like to zoom up. We go to the zoom tools. Now we can see what Reblum did. It smoothed out the skin. It smoothed out the wrinkles. It kept the texture of the skin, which is amazing for retouching tools these days. It used AI to lighten up the eyes. Let's go ahead and turn this off and on. You can see what it did, right? It took away blemishes. It took away wrinkles. It softened the skin. It's amazing what it can do in just a couple of seconds. And so this is right outside of Lightroom, right? With a couple of pushes of the button, you can go right in and select an image and then it says okay and so then it's going to process it give it a second it's going to process it and then bring it back into lightroom so you'll have it in your catalog just like normal so you can see what we've done here we've got two it'll make a new one See how it softened the lines here? They didn't take them away entirely because that looks fake. Brightened up the eyes. And it removed the blemishes. Look at the blemishes here. The little skin imperfections. It moved, removed all of that. All in just a couple of seconds. So where this really comes in handy is let's say you, like you say, you've got a, a, a portrait session that you've done for somebody. You can just retouch all of them because watch this. Let's go in here. And let's select, uh, we'll do one more here so you can see how this looks. This is an outdoor shot. So we're going to right click, go to edit in, edit in Reblum. Now, depending on the type of retouching you like to have done, there's a couple of different options in here, which uh, I find to be pretty slick. And one of them is natural. So this one does a little bit of retouching, but it's not over the top. It cleans things up. It cleans up skin, cleans up imperfection but it doesn't soften the skin as much. And of course, if you want less texture or more texture, you can do the sliders here. Your preset is high quality, balanced, fast, or ultra fast. So depending on what kind of speed you're in. So let's say you're doing batching, you might wanna do ultra fast. So this goes really quick, zooms in, zooms out, images created, and then put back into Lightroom so you can move on and show your customer. I typically leave it on high quality because I want the best quality I can get. If I click OK, it will go in, it'll do all of the retouching, create that new image, bring it back into Lightroom Classic. And I'm showing this to you live in terms of time. I'm not going to speed ahead here. That's how long it takes. So if we look at this, that's before, 
that's after. See how it softened the skin? It took off these blemishes, little, little different marks on the skin. Now, when you show your customer, they look awesome. You know, they're looking at proofs of their image, right? But it's, they're complete. They're, they're, everything looks great on them and they look great. And you know, it's just that their customers, your customers are going to be much happier. You can also take images. Let's say you're in a, in a group here, you've got, you got two images here. We want to go in here and we go to edit in. So it's going to bring both of those images in. You see them down here. You can approve. Let's go ahead and just put it on fashion so we can see the difference. And click OK. So as soon as it's done processing, it'll go to the next one and process that one. And again, this is all real time. This is not me speeding this up. You'll find that this works pretty darn fast. So now we've got two additional images, right? We've got our, let's take a look, we'll compare these two. Takes out the blemishes that are here on the face and even with AI, right, it, it, it knows that this is a side profile and it, able to capture the eye, know exactly where the eye is. So all of the retouching is done probably right around knowing what that information is. Look at that. Little bumps that were on our skin are now no longer there. And if we go into this one, same deal. Click on both of these. And you can see the skin texture, right? Skin texture, you've got the pore, a lot of the pores showing. We've softened the lines, softened the dents here. Look at the look at the forehead. Look how much better the forehead looks over here than over here. Now, this is a program that you can purchase. Uh, you know, it's an aftermarket program, it's a plug-in. You can also use it inside of Photoshop. And I use it inside of Photoshop as well because uh, I can put it on its own layer and then I can you know, lessen that layer a little bit or do a layer mask and do a little more work on it. But this is an awesome way to get retouching outside of Lightroom Classic and not even have to go into Photoshop and get your faces retouched really quickly. One thing that Reblum does that other AI programs don't offer is that Reblum works entirely offline. You don't need an internet connection to do all of this AI retouching. Your images aren't going to go up to a cloud and then back down. That not only keeps your images more secure, but it also helps the program work so much faster. I love that part. And uh, the company sent me a link that I'll, I'll post here. So if you use that link, you'll get a discount on the program itself. And there's different ways to buy it. I think there's yearly or monthly or lifetime. So there's different ways to buy it. But I find this, you know, <laughs> programs like this come along and, and as, a guy on YouTube doing this kind of thing, I get a lot of companies that say, hey, check this out, check this out. And I turn a lot of them away. But this one I saw and I thought, this is really useful. It goes fast. Uh, the the work is, is, I think, is great. It's not over the top. And the skin preservation is what I like because the skin actually has a real skin look to it and it's not softened down to nothing. So a lot of times if you're going to do this inside a Lightroom, you got to be careful with that texture slider softening that skin where this click of a button, you're right there. So anyway, if you're interested, use the link. If not, use the techniques I showed you earlier on how to retouch faces inside a Lightroom Classic. We'll see you next time.